Cash 22 here. Listen, like, comment, subscribe down below. Let's get this party started. All right, so this is question number three. And for question number three, this is about land calculation. So it says, one acre of land is equivalent to 43,560 square feet. Write a program that asks the user to insert the total square feet in the track of land and calculate the number of acres in that track. Hint, divide the amount entered by 43,560 to get the number of acres. So first things first, before we dive in, like I said, if you watch um, my video number about question number two, about sales prediction, prediction, what I like to do, either or, you can start either way, is I like to usually, you know, type in the question, you know, whether it's via PDF file or from the textbook, I open a Word document, and I like breaking down the question, you know, it makes it a lot easier for us to understand the concept and, you know, not feel too overwhelmed. Like I said, when you get better, it gets a lot easier. So first thing is first, let's just break this down a little, and that's why I kind of, you know, differentiate with different colors. So it says one acre of land is equivalent to 43,560 square feet. All right, that's good information to know, okay? Um, so that's something that we'll keep in the back of our head. So with that, I'll definitely highlight that because, you know, that's really good information uh, to keep noted and note down. And like I said, I like to try to break this down paragraph by paragraph. So we'll keep that written. Now it says write a program that acts as the user to enter the total square feet in the track of land. All right, so we have to keep that in the back of our head. So it says within this program, this program basically has to say enter total you know square feet in the track of land and then it says calculates and it says calculates the number of acres in that track and then from there we also have to create another variable that says um, it basically calculates the number of acres within that track all right and then that gives us a hint to lie the amount entered by 43,560 to get the number of acres all right so what I'll do is I'll jump right back to this and we'll go and we'll take care of you know what's being asked so it says first things first let's keep in the back of our mind we'll say hey one acre equals four three four three five six zero no need for the comma all right skip that and then next it's going to say hey after we got that situated it says Write a program that acts as a user to enter the total square feet in the track of land. Okay, cool, cool. Like I said, that's why we break it down by color. So let's say land one, okay? Or, um, shoot, I mean, you can just give it whatever you want to call it. You know, land one, land, whatever. So we'll, we'll just do land one for now. Or you can call it land, whatever you're comfortable with. Now it says, with this, it says, enter the total square feet in the track of land so we know it's going to be an integer okay because when we're talking about land you know we're going to talk about you know 30,000 square feet okay worth of land and now that we have that situated what we'll do is we'll type in enter total square feet in a track of land okay this is, we're doing exactly what's being asked and then we'll close this okay and then now it's talking about calculate the number of acres in that track. Okay, so in order for us to do that, we'll say acres and I'll say track. Okay, you know, that's the variable that I'm going to assign. Okay, and like I said, do whatever you're comfortable with. This is what I'm comfortable with. So it basically says calculates the number of acres in that track. Okay, so what we do know is we have this variable right here, land underscore one. What we could do is we can put that right here, okay, land underscore one, and what it wants us to do is basically keep in mind dividing the amount entered by, okay, 43,560 to get the number of acres. Hey, it says we have to find a way to calculate the number of acres in that track. So what we'll do is we'll take the land, correct, enter the total square feet in the track of land, divide it by, and in order to use division, this is what we'll use division for. This right here is, you know, keeping the back of our head in our mind that one acre of land is equivalent to 43,560. We'll divide that, and that's how we get these acres underscore track for our variable. And then in order for us to get what we need, we'll have to print it. So in order for me to print this, I'm going to have to use a format. If you watch my other old videos, you can see and understand this concept and like I said it's also in chapter 2 what we'll do is we'll format this we'll type in acres underscore tracks comma because the number is gonna 
be a lot a little big so we, we want to make sure that we have a precision with um, anything after two decimals and then we'll do this right here because this is the F string okay and then we'll close this and like I said watch my other videos in regards to understanding this concept but that's exactly what we're gonna do then when we execute this let's say enter the total square feet and land a track let's say it's a hundred and let's put in three more zeros so so a hundred thousand and then we'll execute this and then we get two point three zero okay and basically what that means is just <laughs> What you have to understand it says write the program that acts as a user to enter the total square feet in the track land and calculate the number of acres in that track. So it's two point three zeros, you know, acres within that track. Obviously we could have made it a lot clearer and specified it, say two point three acres, but you guys kinda understand the concept. Um, like I said, when it comes to Python, do what you feel comfortable and go from there. Um, so this this is beautiful. This is beautiful work. So, like I said, like, comment, subscribe down below if you have any questions. Uh, feel free to reach out. And let's move on to question number four. Stay blessed, y'all.